Hey y'all, so it is your girl Denasia. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the DCM family. So this is going to be a dental hygienist journey. Um, I see a lot of videos and it, they're great, but I feel like they don't get down to the nitty gritty. And I'm gonna get down to the nitty gritty, okay? <laughs> so I am now a dental assistant. I'm gonna be a dental assistant for a year. And then because I can't enroll in the dental hygienist program because they've already accepted the people that they want for 2023. So the fact that I'm starting a little bit later, I have a year to finish my prereqs and then I also have a year to do like my HESI and all of that stuff and make the best possible grades I can get and not rush because I'm going to be doing this for a year and then on top of that I'll be dental assisting for a year. So I will be in the dental field for a year and then I will be in, then got my, uh, my credit or my dental a dental hygienist is supposed to monitor you and write down like how your performance and stuff is doing um while being a dental assistant that's the only way they can really monitor you so you to be a dental hygienist now at least in texas you have to have a dental hygienist monitoring you as a dental assistant okay because if you don't have that then it's just not gonna work that's one of the requirements to get into the program um and a lot of people don't tell you that so that is one of the requirements now in texas for certain schools um so i am doing all my pre and stuff for a year and today actually like today the registration opened up for the dental hygienist to start like well the dental hygienist to start the program in 2024 the um the registration just opened up today for the spring of 2023 to start your prereqs to be a part of the program in 2024 and your girl is manifesting and your girl is at a dream and i'm gonna get in that program um if you guys don't know i'm very studious to the point to where people call me a nerd <laughs> and that's okay because uh-uh um if you guys don't know which you probably don't but i don't really like to toot my own horn but toot 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 your girl finished her dental assistant program with a 98 and i um got a 92 on my exam so yeah i'm a little studious <laughs> i'm a little studious um but but it's just because i like science and science is easy to me science has always been easy to me like even when it's supposed to be hard it's probably been a little challenging but it's never been crazy hard to me hey y'all so i am currently waiting um they today what happened today registration opened up so it's like a two hour wait for walking and i didn't have an appointment so i'm just here waiting i've already ate i didn't have me a couple drinks so your girl looks good um yeah i have nothing to do today so i'm just gonna wait and one of the goals i wanted to get done today was to get this done today um my transcripts are in so to go and I'm just waiting. I'll see y'all later when I finally get called back there. Um, yeah. Right now, and it works out perfect. Watch it. You like Kevin Gates? Sure. Because I got all the new two stocks are in town, and that's what I'm going to see. When I'm doing this, I know it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. All the new two stocks are in town. I was definitely talking to myself. You know, I'm also the only child, though, so I have fun. So we could do it this way. I've got you in the speech, but we could drop it and put you in speech. Government. So what speech is that one? This is the business professional. That's intro to speech. Okay, let's do the business professional. Cool. And you like that schedule? That yeah. I come up here Tuesday, Thursday evenings. Yeah. So how many more classes do I need to take after though? What is it for? Uh, one, for the full financial aid, but this would still cover you. If you no, I meant to get into the program. You're really all you need is those sciences, but 
you have to complete most, if not all. So like, if we're gonna be doing this one, you would have those three left. Those other classes I was showing you. Um, so I'll be having to take all three of those next semester. Well, no, so you're gonna do, this one would be spring 22. I would tell you to take this one, summer 22, 10 week session. You could do one of these fall 23 and you have eight weeks which means you could do one in the first eight week one in the second if you want to knock them both out or stay responsible when you're in the program because you've already got a few of the other classes knocked out that you would take in the program like the english that you would normally do in program that's already done um also oh, i can replace done. that one yeah, you that's what you're saying have them done before is most if not all so worst case scenario you could complete most i guess would be three racks two would only be half so you could look to apply like spring 20 next fall or next spring like a, next well, fall that's 23 where, spring of 24 ish right that's cool. when it opens right i think that's the next class they have yeah right. i think they've already done the application for yeah it. for so i should be done by this time next year maybe in a position to apply yes. yeah mm -hmm. okay well then that's perfect okay and that's and if I finish all of these right. during the spring and the summer. Mm -hmm. and, the and, fall. and like I said, you could leave the chemistry for while you're in the program because you already knocked out the English, you already knocked out that psychology. So it's not like you're going to be behind at all, you know? Because okay. those you would normally take in the program, but they'll already be done. Great. Cool? Yeah. Y'all, right. I low key almost forgot to start recording. So I was purposely asking her more questions and stuff just so I could get it on camera. Um, but I have my schedule to start in January, which is great. Um, and then I'm gonna use my camera dirty. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm gonna start in January. Um, and then I'm talking to the fast food people now. Something was going on with my financial, like somebody had stole my information and has something to do with my student, I mean, not my student, my social security number, dealing with Air Financial. So I'm not sure what's going on with my stuff and how they expect me to pay some back when I can't even log in to my stuff. So I just talked to you again. Of course, you can't know this information. Hey, y'all. Um,. So, just to give y'all a little bit of a summary of what was going on. So, I just registered for my classes. I don't start until January. Um, I'm glad I had these glasses on because their computers were so big and so close to your face. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyways, so, that. And then, also, with the program itself, you do have to take some classes, like an English... Wait let me see it was like okay so uh, english 1302 you take while in the dental hygiene program but i've already taken it so i don't necessarily have to t i don't have it's no necessarily i don't have to take that class again nor do i have to take it's another check mark on here somewhere so i took the english And she was basically saying the creative arts, I've already taken that, so I don't have to take that again either. Um, and then I've already taken physics, but they were saying sociology, I would need to take. Um, but basically, some of the classes I've already taken and passed, so they're not having me take it again. Um, I registered for um, biology, anatomy, and physiology one. And then I did government, which I, ugh. and I did professional and business speech. So I did those classes because she was saying that if you decide to do financial aid, those are, that's a course to where you have to be selected in there. So for you to get financial aid, they will have to make it some form of like arts program, which is what she did at Associate, um, Associate of Arts. That's how she made it to be, to where I can um, apply for financial aid. Because if I was just to keep it as a dental hygiene program, I would not um, qualify for that. And since so doing a prereq, now I have to be accepted into the program before they can actually pay for the program. I really hope that makes sense. So for your prereqs, you need associates of arts. 
for financial aid to cover it. Um, but when you get into dental hygiene program, that's when they're going to pay for your dental hygiene program. Okay. And he said that to, um, basically have your tax documents. And so with prereqs, you can still have your schedule open, um, for a full time job. Now, when it becomes the dental hygiene program and you start getting into clinicals, that's a different story. I know for sure because the lady said it on the phone that's over the program, or that's over the program that works on the program. She said it's from 8 to 5. They don't offer night classes at all. So, hey y'all. Oh, hopefully you didn't see that. I was eating donuts. Um, but good morning. It is, I think, like 9 something in the morning. Oh, I can't even do my thing. But I think it's like 9 08 or something in the morning. Um,. I don't want to tell in my dentist's office, but I think somebody who's supposed to be opening it is running a little behind because today is my first day and they told me to be here at nine. So I've been here since like eight something. Um, and then what was I about to say? And then there's a donut shop right across the street. When I tell y'all them donuts is disgusting Oh my God, I ain't never had no bad donuts before. Like, not that, well, I have. Y'all can get on my tail if you want to, but Krispy Kreme is disgusting to me. And those are like Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Worse, actually. Um, And then I had chocolate milk. I only drank a little bit. Chocolate milk was nasty. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here. Today's my first day. Um... I know I'm like I'm personally getting nudges in me to record all my processes so today hopefully I'm not actually in the operatory doing like dental assistant work hopefully I'm just like uh shadowing somebody um so I can just like scope out where I can place my my phone so I can record you know because you know I want to be able to do week in a life dental assistant vlogs or weekly or daily vlogs or something like that you know what i'm saying like i want to be very consistent with this okay y'all just as i suspected that office was closed so like almost all of the offices except for one are is closed today um so the director actually called me and she was like well you were supposed to see people call from me when the start so i don't really know what's going on so but they are sending me to a different location and since i am on the specialty team like i said i will be traveling i thought i was only going to be traveling between two offices i'm not i'm going to be traveling amongst dfw which is what i preferred anyway okay oh i need to write down my mileage uh-uh honey so yeah hold on let me write down my mileage all right, y'all. So I wrote down my mileage. She said that the office in Euless, which is about 20 minutes from me, that's my home office, but they're opening an office in the city I stay at. So hopefully they can transfer that to being my home office and then me traveling everywhere else in DFW. I'll just go ahead and get my mileage for that because, yeah, I need that. <laughs> need that. Um, but I don't want to be stationed at one office because I just don't want people to really get comfortable with me i would prefer to always be the new girl because you really don't know who a person is when you're the new girl but when they start to get comfortable with you that's when their true colors start coming out and that's not always a good thing you know what i'm saying so i prefer to be the new girl i prefer to travel and that's one of the reasons why i chose this position is because i wanted to travel and you guys know i'm interested in being a temp anyway so this is technically getting me prepared to be a temp for my entire like for the rest of my career honestly so why not learn and then learn different ways and understand the differences of being okay with being different you know what i'm saying like hopefully that made sense but so i'm excited i'm going all the way to fort worth which is far
Okay, y'all, that office is mad busy. I got a little footage. That's basically what they be doing all day. Like, with me being a special specialty team, I'm going to be mostly with the orthodontics. <laughs> um, the girl was talking to me. She was like, don't let them lowball you. And I was like, I'm not understanding what you mean by lowball. Like, what, what's lowball to you? And she was like, don't accept anything $15 or less. I'm just like, babes, you don't have to tell me that. <laughs> Don't have to tell me that, babes. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm done eating. I'm so sleepy. I have 30 more minutes, so I'm about to take me like a 30 minute nap. Hey, y'all. So I am done for today. I got done at like 5 20 something. So from 9 a.m. to 5 20 something, she said she was gonna clock me in or change my time to 9 since that was not my fault and I was there. Um that and also y'all if there is a pure dental academy hey in your like city or state or whatever take that because go with that route one girl was like yeah i just wanted the cheapest and fastest route and i was like oh, okay so like what did you pay she was like i paid 15k now my mind did not register 15k was fifteen thousand dollars at first it was like 1500 you know what i'm saying that's what i was i mean not 15 yeah 1500 1500 that's what i thought at first and i was like wait 15k and she was like yeah i said fifteen thousand dollars she was like yeah i said whoa and she was like and we have to pay for our rda basically to take the test and that's 150 dollars." i said whoa and then i said how long was the the uh, course she said like I think she said nine months, but then she ended up changing it saying six to seven or something like that. But it was supposed to be nine months. I said, yo, nine months for $15,000 and y'all got to pay for y'all test. Ooh -wee. And she was like, where did you go? And I was like, I went to a period dental academy. I said, it was seven weeks. I only paid $3,000 and she paid 15 out of pocket. I said I only paid three thousand um, dollars for seven weeks of school, and then um, will I have enough time to actually go to my school today? I don't know. Three thousand dollars, seven weeks, and then I said, and our RDA is already included, as well as our uniforms, and then also we uh, get nitrous too. So nitrous is laughing gas. So all of that is included with the $3,000. I don't have to pay for nitrous. So I'm going to do that. The only thing that I'm going to do extra that I'm going to that I'm going to have to pay for for a, for another certificate is going to be uh polishing. Now you do make more money if you have your nitrous certification, if you have your radiology, and if you um have polishing. So as many certifications that you get under your belt as possible is good because that is going to um, heighten your pay grade. Y'all, I'm still recording on my phone because I forgot my camera. And I'm at my mom's job. She's gonna wash my hair and blow dry and trim and straighten. Told you slick and drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen cooking up, catch your own bread. Heart full of equity, you're an asset. Make sure that you don't need no mentions. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you. Stay in the vision, they did a great job raising you. When I create, you're my muse. The kind of smile that makes the news. Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets. Triple threat, you a boss, you a bait, you a beast. You make it easy to choose. You got a mean touch, I can't refuse. No, I can't refuse. It. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. Gorgeous, make them drop dead, you a killer. Shower you with all my attention. Yeah, these are my only intentions. Stay in the kitchen, cooking up, catch your own bread. Heart full of equity, you're an asset. Make sure that you don't need. Second and none, you got the upper hand now. Don't need a 